Everything else he discussed in this video, he experienced it at the hands of Bishop T.D. Jakes, and he told me it was Bishop T.D. Jakes. This is not the only situation or the only person that has a testimony or story like this. For Manasseh, it was grooming, and the grooming was excessive, manipulative, and he did confront Bishop Jakes about it and how he was handled. I was instrumental in getting Prophet Manasseh and his father, Bishop Ebernard Jordan, back talking. They were estranged at the time. He then began to get mentored by Prophet Hargrove. That mentorship started before him and his father was estranged. Then Hargrove died. Then Benny Hinn began to mentor Prophet Manasseh Jordan. For those of you that ask, he is not talking about Benny Hinn. He is talking about Bishop Jakes, who he went to afterwards. Because then Manasseh started having to fight a whole lot of things in the media, which you Google, you can find. And he sort of fell in the proverbial arms of Bishop T.D. Jakes. And when he did, instantly the grooming began. He wanted him to call him daddy. Now, mind you, Bishop Jakes can pick up the phone and call Bishop Jordan. But he wanted Manasseh to call him daddy. He began to question Manasseh about what was his struggles? What did he like? What was he into? Was he into men or was he into women? If he's into men, then what you like about this? If you're into women, what? he began to get into, he was attracted to Manasseh. Plain and simple. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But it was the way he went about it. Your sexual character is more important than your sexual preference. Bishop Jordan right now and his family is traumatized. Because for some of them, this is the first time they heard it. The whole family is traumatized. But the whole family going to be there for Manasseh. Because he's not standing on his own. Let's go.